Hey everybody, um, this is one of two videos that I'm going to be doing today. Um, it's August uh, 5th, Sunday, um, so it's my shot day. So I decided since I've never done a video of my shot, um, and I know that a lot of guys have videos like that, um, I'm going to do that for you guys today. I have to put this disclaimer in, um, this is not an instructional video. You need to be taught by a health professional how to do this. This is just the way that I do my shot. So, like, don't try this at home, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, and another disclaimer is that I'm wearing a tank top, and so, there. <laughs> um, so, okay, here we go. So, let me show you... My face probably won't be in this video, like, at all, so. <laughs> um, this is my box that I keep all my shit in. It says, where were you while we were getting high on it, because I used to keep other things in here. Um, so, yeah. So I have my alcohol swabs in here, which I will be needing one of. So let's get that out. I have my testosterone. Um, depending on how much it bleeds, I either use this with a cotton ball or I just use a band-aid. This happens to be a Barbie band-aid, so we'll go with that. And then I have my cotton ball and my, oops, my 25 gauge needles, which is what I inject with, um, which I'll show you in a minute my biohazard container to dispose of my shit and my uh, syringes so, let's get all this. so this is a 3 milliliter 22 gauge syringe and it's one and a half inches long so this is what I uh, draw the tea with. So, let me take my pants off here. Okay, so. Uh, of course. So, um, basically, um, how I do this is you want to be in the upper third of your thigh. So, like, right here. Um, and uh, you want to be on the outer portion where there's a lot of muscle, um, and then clean it off, and you go from the outside in, uh, inside out, and then you use the other side to clean off your tea bottle, and you don't want to blow it dry because, um, you'll get your mouth germs on it. So, open up your syringe here. So, oops. Okay, can you see this? This is what it looks like. Uh, I use 200 milligrams per milliliter, and I do half a cc every week. So, take this off, set it somewhere where you're not going to lose it. This is the thickness of the needle. This is what I also injected with for a few weeks, and it hurt like a bitch. Um, so yeah. So, stab that in there. Um, and testosterone is... Let me do this while I'm doing this. Um, testosterone is a very thick liquid, so... You want to pull back very slowly. And this actually takes, like, the longest amount of time. For me, anyway. Um, to get... The testosterone out. Um, so while I'm talking, while I'm doing this, I will tell you um, that weirdly, for a few shots before my um, before I had to inject with these thick needles, um, I got some needle phobia. Which is interesting, because I have never been afraid of needles in my whole life. Um, 
So that was really weird for me. Um, and I was like afraid to inject for a few weeks. But I'm not anymore. Alright, so. Put this away. Now you want to cap this and then see it's on the half a cc mark and you want to pull it up a little so that the testosterone comes out of here and there's a little bit of air so that when you unscrew this nothing leaks out so see and then dispose of that in your biohazard biohaz is what i was about to say that's not a thing so i don't know what i was saying that and then you want to take your needle that you're injecting with and the reason that you don't inject with that is because it's super thick and it would hurt and be painful so you inject with a smaller needle um, which is this one still pretty sizable but smaller than that other one and you want to push it up just make sure that there's no air left in there so, see it's on the half cc mark again, um, and now you're ready to inject. Um, the air is already disinfected, so you just want to find a piece of muscle. Um, and I know that some people um, don't pinch their thigh, some people do. Um, I do, because I don't have very, you know muscular thighs to begin with. So what, I don't know if you can see this. So what you want to do is you want to go in at a 90 degree angle. So straight up and down. Um, you're not really going to be able to see this very well, I don't think. Um, let me try moving it back this way. See if that works a little better. Alright. Yeah, that's much better. Alright, so it's in about this area. And you want to go in at a 90 degree angle, pull up, make sure you didn't hit a vein, and then inject. So when I pulled up, I saw an air bubble. Um, and if you pull up and you see blood, you need to take the needle out and start all over again because that means that you hit a vein. And you cannot inject a thick liquid like testosterone into your veins because that would be terrible. So I'm finished injecting, let go, pull out. That's what she said. And find the top here. Now you're done with this. You throw this away. Not in a trash bag, in a biohazard. Um, so I don't know if you can see this, but a little bit of tea leaked out. So I'm going to find my cotton balls and just you just want to like massage the muscle a little bit after because it's going to be sore um so yeah you can see my binder in the tank top um so yeah that is how i do my shots um and now i can't even see the hole where i injected that's how small the needle is. So, I'm going to take advantage of this Barbie Band-Aid and put it on my leg because it is bleeding a little. Not too much, though. Um, and I am about to make another video, but I'm not going to do it in the same one as this because this is already nine minutes long. Um, and the other one is going to be a little bit longer if not the same length so cool and now I have my Barbie band-aid to go with my pink elephant boxers um, and yeah that is how I do my shot so um yeah, I'm going to end this now and start making my update video while it is uploading. So, see you all very soon.